Guys, the new application from the Dwarf Lab team is finally out there. You can go to your App Store or Android Store and update the application in order to use right away the new features of the Dwarf 2 Smart Telescope. Now I will test it for the first time. I will connect the Dwarf. I think it still have battery. And I will place it outside and try to update everything. Okay, this is Christmas day, tomorrow is full moon and I will test it on the moon because everything is washed out in the sky. So I already downloaded it. I will just connect the dwarf. Connecting. And we'll see. Update available. A new firmware update is ready. For a better experience and the latest features, please follow the upgrade prompt to complete the process. Okay, click on update now. And it says the nine new features of this huge update. And it's downloading. Okay. I suppose it's installing the update, the firmware. Upgrading. Yes, it is. It's almost there. Firmware upgraded. Please restart the telescope. Okay. I will restart the telescope, so I will go outside, disconnect the dwarf, and then reconnect it. See? You just press and hold. Red. Disconnect it. Now I will place it and reconnect it. Okay, it's green again. Let's go. Connect. Device searching. Make sure your Dwarf 2 is powered on and place it near your mobile phone tablet. Okay, it's here. Click. This is exciting. Santa Claus gave us this... Well, Dwarf Lab gave us this... Finally, finally... But we forgive you. It should be earlier, but we forgive you. If it works. Now it's connecting. It's not too far away, so it should connect fine. Connection successful. Bam! Okay, this looks nice. It's the first time I picked this application. So battery indicator, ring indicator. Okay. Photo. Okay, there we go, there we go. Now, you should take new darks to renew all the dark files with bin off, which means one by one. It's the new feature. I did it already because I was one of the beta testers, so I had access to previous beta versions and with a new binning feature. So if you want to use binning one by one, which I recommend you should take new darks. You know how to do it. You can place the dwarf in, into the bag and then take the darks in a, a dark environment for the device. You close the lens and you take the darks and then you move on with these steps. So the moon will be... I was searching for the direction. It's better to do this near the dwarf. Because I can't see where it's pointing. I go outside near the dwarf so you can see it. See, this way it's much easier. Now I move the arrows, I have the moon already in place. And just center it with the arrows. 
Okay, and now let's try the out. Let, let's take off this camera. We don't need it. And now let's try the focus. Autofocus. It's doing the autofocuser. And bam! Bam! I will zoom it. Okay, now let's see how it works the live stacking. It should be moon track. I will click on moon track. Yes. What's happening here? Okay. Okay. I think it's tracking. I will take it off here. Yes, tracking moon. It says tracking moon. Photo. Video. Ah, astro. Video, astro, pen, burst, time lapse. Video. Let's see what happened. We have the video. Now I will stop and photo. Take a photo. Okay, let's try now to stack the moon. Astro mode. I think it's stacking. Yeah. Now I think we can zoom. Yes, it's stacking because it says current, which is the, the frames that are pending. And then stack it to three now. So it's stacking. Now, it uh, by default, it has 999. So it will be stacking forever or unless you push the stop button. And as this is a test, we will do that. So stop button. This is just me figuring out and helping you to figure it out faster. Okay. Go live. This is a live view. Now it should be on the album. Yeah. The video, the photo and the stacked picture of the moon. I suppose that um, this is uh, the photo. Which is beautiful, the photo. I suppose if we stack for more time, it will get a better and better picture as usual when we live stack objects in the sky. But this is a thing for you to test with your Dwarf 2 telescope. If you want to buy one, use the link at the description or at opsonianpower.com. It's here guys, enjoy it!